Welcome to Introduction to Functions, Exercise 10. I am the coding teacher, and I'm here to teach you how to code. This is uh, actually the explanation here on the left has been one of the best, uh, ex best of explanations that I've seen. I exhort you to read it, but basically what's going on is they're explaining variable scope. What is variable scope? Let's look at this variable right here, var, var my number is 7. In this function, well, let's leave that function definition aside. It's called times 2, right? So when we call times 2, what's happening? It's executing times 2 with the, with the parameter 7. It's executing this block of code in such a way that number takes on the value of 7. So you're going to go and say, my number equals 7 times 2. So my number is 14, right? Where does this my number variable come from? Right here. It was defined in the global scope. So the function has all the, the body, the inside of the function has access to all those global variables. Uh, if you go here and they say bar local bar equals 10, right? Also, the log inside the function, my number is that. And then let's modify this function. Console.log local bar is plus local bar. Okay, so let's run this guy now. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 we added some stuff there, so it's incorrect. But what's happening inside the function? Well, the first thing that actually runs here is var my number equals 7. We declare a function, then we call it. So when we call that function, we run this block of code with the value 7 there. So we say my underscore number equals 14. So that changes the value of this guy. Then we move and say var local var is 10. Console.log inside the function, my number is 14. That's what it's saying up here. Inside the function, my number is 14. Local var is 10. Outside the function, my number is 14. Yeah, because this statement changed the global variable. So while inside and outside the function is going to be the same. Now let's do one more little thing here. Let's repeat this guy out here. Now let's see what we get. Oh, reference error. Local var is not defined. I declared var local var right inside this function. So if I try to call it, if I try to reference it outside of the function, it's not going to know what I'm talking about. So this variable local var, it was declared since it was declared inside the function, it sort of dies the second you exit the function. So that's what I wanted to demonstrate by doing that. Let me get rid of these two guys, and this guy here. So now back onto the exercise, what they actually want us to do. What they actually want us to do is put a var here. And let's let's observe the let's take away the var first and observe the behave, the behavior. Inside the function, my number is 14. Outside the function, my number is 14. So now we put the var in there. Let's see what's going on. Inside the function, my number is 14. Outside the function, my number is 7. Why is that? Okay, let's look, analyze the code. First thing that runs is var my number equals 7. Then we declare a function and then we run the function times 2 with the parameter 7. Okay? So when we call this function, what's going to happen is this block of code is going to run in such a way that the value of number is 7. Now we're declaring a new variable called my number. It has the same name, right? But since it has a different scope, it's allowed to have the same name. Bar my number equals 14. Console the log inside the function, my number is my number. So when you reference a variable by name like this, what it's going to do is find the most immediate one. In this case, this function has access to two my number variables, the global scope one and the local scope one, the, the one that's inside the function. It's always going to default to the closest one. So when you say console the log my number, it's going to default to this one, which is the most immediate uh, in scope. Um, now, when we, so we were talking about what happened when we ran this statement. Now we move on and run this one outside the function. My number is and console the log my number. This one, however, when it goes to pick the value of the variable or, or figure out the variable of the, the value of the variable, my number is, it only has one, the global one, because this local variable died as soon as the function exited. So in this case, Console log my number is going to print the 7. That's why outside the function, the value of my number is 7. I hope that was clear and I hope that was helpful. And um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope it's been enlightening for you. And um, I'll see you guys next time.